I love seeing battleships destroyed. Well, they're not battleships, they're cruisers, but, you know, they are combat vessels. So, you know, good enough. And we've got an aircraft coming. That's not necessarily brilliant. Right, let's range him. Angle is fairly similar. Speed is zero. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Right, first one is going right in the middle. Second one is going towards the back. Third one is going towards the front. And that guy like turned over. That's what's left of the Maya heavy cruiser. He's a he's a wreck, man. Yeah. Ain't no saving you. Goodbye. Right. Torpedoes are en route. Slow down. And external camera because it's not going to give me the torpedo cam apparently. Here we go. First torpedo. It's a dud. Second torpedo is coming in round about now. Is it a dud? Did they go underneath it? Oh, they did. So the first one hit it, and the second two went underneath. Oh, that's annoying. So the dud one hit, and the other two are going to go and, you know, hit a wall or something over there completely uselessly. Well, okay. Fine. Um, I don't have much time, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to turn full to the right, I'm going to put one third on, and we're going to turn... Oh, they were both duds anyway. So that was... Uh... Yep, straighten out there. So basically we just fired three duds there. That's ridiculous. Fast and closing, but they're miles away, so I don't need to worry about them. Okay, so... Let's get a new solution because we're using the aft tubes and we're going to open all of those tubes. And back here is our target somewhere. There he is. Right. Range. Angle. So more like that now because we're at a bad angle for him really. Zero speed. But there we go. We've got it dead on. That's good. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. That's good. Right, firing one. Two is going at the back. Three is going at the front. This is probably overkill, because we killed the other guy with two, but I haven't put them high in the water, but it doesn't matter. They're contact influence. We should be okay. Um, how many torpedoes do I have after this? Next to none. So, um, yeah, this will have to do... Uh, right, how far away are the torpedoes? They're a while away yet. I'm going to fire another one at the middle just because we've got like no torpedoes left and um, I may as well right so let's go to oh no, torpedo cam let's have a torpedo cam shall we this one is going towards the middle roughly anyway not too far away oh that's a big hit I didn't like that one whatsoever and there's the second big hit there. Is the third going to hit? It should do, but will it explode? Yes, it will. There's a third. And there's one more coming. If it will explode or not, I don't know. I don't think that ship has actually sunk. So, uh, yeah, this will be interesting. If the fourth one that I fired will be the one that puts it down. Oh, we've got another torpedo impact there, apparently. But yeah, let's see the state of this guy. He's got two huge holes in him. And uh, he is sort of lowering, but no, he's not going to sink. Nope, he ain't going to sink. I don't care about any warships. They're nowhere near me. See? Well, he's not down. Um, have we got any tubes loaded? We've nearly got the first tube loaded. There we go. Tube 1 is loaded. So we're going to have one more shot at this guy. Because uh, we've done too much damage now not to put him down. Aircraft. Alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, I can't be put off by aircraft right now. Stop. 
and go here we go lock distance angle actually he's at a good angle for this I think he's actually he's more like that and speed of course is zero forward tube let's hit him right in the middle uh, high in the water contact influence I'm not risking missing with this one and fire there goes the opening door the hatch and torpedo is away there it goes with the hatch closing over it which is interesting but never mind here goes the torpedo through the water and this is pretty much my last shot at sinking this guy and I really really want to sink this guy because uh, yeah he's big and worth tonnage and I want him so away goes the torpedo still don't see the guy yet wouldn't be surprised if we actually saw the other one that we'd already sunk on the way past in fact that could be it there it's possible that that is the other ship there I don't think you can probably see it on the video actually you probably can because it's about the same resolution on the video as it is for me playing the game so it's slightly lower but yeah you're seeing it almost as uh, in almost as good a detail as I am so that may have been the ship it may not have been I don't know but here goes the torpedo it must be getting close now surely are we gonna switch angles for impact camera no we're not whoa uh, yeah okay and what happened to the torpedo did it hit has it reached it yet I don't know I don't see it in the water did that plane just blow it up that's a possibility um, yeah I don't see it so I'm gonna have to go back to this view and see whether all oh, right it's not actually got there yet right oh no we've got a torpedo cam let's check this one out he's got three holes in him this guy is a beast right go and explode please thank you that's a big explosion and we've got another explosion off the rear that started a new fire that's got to be the end of him surely yeah there we go that's good that is beautiful there goes his plane yeah he's lost his plane that's got to be the end of him yeah that looks nice very very nice yep there's the water going over his deck so that's got to be the end of him yep enemy unit destroyed fantastic down he goes oh boom fireworks how nice of him to celebrate for me right that is one cruiser that will be not uh, that will not be bothering the uh, the American and Allied fleets. So um, I still have a torpedo left, and there's like a guy over here, and he actually was quite big, wasn't he? Um, I wonder if it's worth just shooting him. There's a sub chaser there. I wonder if there's any like planes or submarines over here. Sometimes there are. Don't see any. Oh, that's a gunboat. That's two gunboats, actually. Is there a submarine anywhere? Not that I can see. No, no submarines. This would be the place where the submarines are, if there are any. Nope, no submarines. Right then. Okay, um, I just need to check my torpedoes. Torpedoes. Oh, actually, I've got quite a few torpedoes left. Um, right, I'm going to reposition. So yeah, actually, as I have that many torpedoes left, I am going to go and take a shot at this guy. Let's go forward one third. And then here, we're going to turn right. Just a... no, no. I've done it again. I'm not telling left from right. We're going to turn right. I turn left again, rather. Yeah, I'll get it right one of these days. I will, honest. One day. One day when you least expect it, I will tell right from left, and you'll be like, whoa, no way. You actually managed to work it out. So, uh, right, here we are. And, uh, yeah, this isn't the ide ideal angle, but, um, you know, whatever. It'll be good enough, hopefully, anyway. So, let's uh, range him up about there, between the masts. 
angle is almost exactly dead on probably the worst angle I could possibly get on him but never mind I'm just going to take that off completely and hit him right in the nose so tube is open away goes the torpedo through the hatch that apparently was open but actually was closed and uh, yeah we'll probably take the front off him here if we hit it that is we should hit him I think it's on Compton influence so yeah, as long as it's close it should hit it I think it's also on slow but yeah whatever doesn't really matter so yeah away goes the torpedo and what to say during these awkward moments when we don't know if it's going to hit or not whoa it blew up early okay right fair enough uh, let's prepare better from the next one shall we let's go to tube 3 high in the water fast and ah, actually it was at a weird angle there never mind how long until that one is loaded right I'm gonna wait until these are all loaded and uh, yeah I will get back to you we've got plenty of air plenty of fuel plenty of battery to get out of here at least and uh, yeah I'm gonna wait for them to reload and get back to you in just a moment put my scope down yeah okay see you okay our tubes are loaded we've got two in the front two in the back I probably should have redeployed where I was while I was doing that but never mind I'm gonna get a uh, another solution on this guy because actually we uh, we slipped slightly off to the the side when we were uh, slowing down before so we were slightly off with the calculation and actually we may have missed even if it hadn't been you know dud and exploded early so let's open up that tube and high in the water high speed contact influence zero donk on it and let's fire go torpedo go go torpedo you're a superhero you can do it you can take this down this huge tanker for me go on torpedo you know you want to this is what you're built for do it for the USA Right, you must be getting close now. Any moment now, it's going to dump me out of this camera, and I'm going to be like, "What the hell happened?" There we are. <laughs> yep. What the hell happened? We hit it. At least that's something. But uh, they didn't seem to do any damage at all. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. Nope, that did absolutely nothing. What we're going to have to do is get slightly more to the side because we're shooting pretty much straight on right now so let's go ahead one third and go left yep left I do definitely want to go left and then from here I want to go right and hopefully yeah that's good we'll straighten there and stop and hopefully from this angle when we stop finally please stop thank you now we're getting pinged by that uh, that sub chaser he don't like me yeah this is a better angle and um, not a better range but a better angle at least okay right uh, the range isn't that bad actually right and he's more like that now speed is the same and of course I will be targeting manually anyway so it doesn't really matter right high speed, actually no, I'm going to low speed because low speed seems to be more accurate there's a plane, he knows exactly where I am anyway, fire whoa that was that was dropping some shit back there, yeah you missed man you missed, badly, where am I? I'm like there and he dropped me over there, that was poor uh, I'm not going to risk it dumping me out of the camera again so uh, we're going to go over here and I'm going to watch it from this angle here we go there is the torpedo coming into the side and boom that's a big hit we've got a fire we have got a fire and uh, is that going to put him down? no, not on your life aircraft spotted apparently don't know where but uh, apparently he doesn't like me so I think that's the last torpedo we had in the front yeah it is yep that'll do 
and then we'll go forward from here right and we'll stop that has got to give me a half decent angle surely this is ridiculous no that one this one right well it's not half decent but you know if I fire both torpedoes into it it should be fine it shouldn't really matter how uh, how poor the angle is as long as I hit it with both of them what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it slightly off that way. I'm going to put one on each side, hopefully. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Right. Targeting. I'm going to put them both contact influence so I can hopefully blow one up on each side. Now then, this could go horribly, horribly wrong. But I'm going to put one there and one there. And I'm going to go external camera for this. And hopefully we'll have one explode on both sides. Let's go up a little bit if we can. Yep, there we go. Here it comes. And I think that's actually going to hit the thing, but that's fine. That's torpedo impact. And on the other side, perhaps. Yep. But uh, I've got nothing left now, so if you don't go down... Yep, there we go. Oh, I actually blew him up in the middle from that. That was nice. Okay. Whoa, he's actually up on the dock now. <laughs> I pushed him back onto the dock, apparently. That's cool. Anyway, uh, we need to get the hell out of here, because these planes are trying to kill us. And um, dying is not what I plan to do today. So, we're going to go over here, two-thirds, I think. And um, I just realised I've left myself zero torpedoes if there's anything out here that wants to kill me. Um, I'm just going to be running the gauntlet then I guess we're going to go around the cape here and then we're going to have a straight shot right across the ocean to Midway basically that is the plan and um, we'll see if it works out so yeah I'm going to uh, go ahead and scoot the hell out of here and um, I will update you momentarily I guess well shit on me um, there's a couple of warships behind me and there are a couple of uh, merchants like right next to me oh oh and they're big ones he is big does he have any guns he does not have any guns what about this guy I know I should be doing this with a periscope but you know neither of them have guns um, I want to know what these warships are I'm not going to engage them but I want to know what they are Oh, they look like... Yeah, they're destroyers. They are destroyers and they are not happy. Um, yeah, they are really not happy. But they seem to be around this area here, so they should be okay. My battery is a bit of a worry. But uh, what time is it? Where, where was the chronometer? There it is. Right, 7 o'clock in the evening. So, um, hopefully... I'm going to try and follow these guys out and um, I'm going to try and keep speed with them but that's not going to be easy I'll go ahead to flank speed why not and because um, I'm right in there in their propellers right now so you know getting away or catching up with them could be done um, right let's, uh, let's adjust this thing Let's go down this way. I want to keep up with them because if it gets to night time and I'm outside here I can pop up and uh, lay into them with the deck gun and that would be lovely. But um, I may have to let them get away. Those destroyers aren't following me so that's alright. Yeah but they are definitely going very fast but then I'm going really slowly. So um, don't know warship closing apparently I don't see them so whatever right where are they going they're going over that way I can go over that way why not for some undefended uh, let's kill that for some undefended tonnage I can go over that way sure that's not a problem to me it's a uh, Let's just readjust this course quickly, and yeah, let's carry on. 
Oh, actually, I want to move that one sort of down there. Let's go. Okay, we're definitely away from those guys. And I know from past experience there is a uh, shore gun up there. So um, I don't want to be popping up here until at least night time. My battery is dying. It's so low right now. But uh, I have no choice but to stay underwater at least for a little while. Uh, I'm too close to the shore right now to come up. Let's go, go, go. Because I'm not sure how far away from the shore I am. But, um, yeah. Batteries are discharged. Right, so I've got no option. I'm going to have to come to the surface. And, uh, right, we're going to surface and we're going to try and catch these guys. I don't know where they went. But, um, I saw them. Radar contact, long range. That's up there. That's fine. I know I saw them going over this direction, so I'm going to go over here at flank speed and see if I can catch them. I don't see anything. Got lots of radar contact, but I don't see it anywhere. Oh, it's up here. Okay, well that's fine. I don't care about that. Oh, I think I've lost them. I must have lost them. They've gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's that down there? That's a ship moving slow. Have we got any more information on it? Only that it is not small. Or not too small, anyway. Let's go ahead and find out what he is. No harm in that. And it also takes me further away from the Tokyo shoreline. Or rather, the Honshu shoreline, which is um, fine with me. How much uh, battery? I've oh, got loads and loads of that left, but um, I'm going to add two thirds. And he's going to be around here somewhere. I'm going to come up behind him, actually. This will be good. Right. Coming up behind him. How about there? What's that? That's unknown. Oh, I think that is. I thought I just saw a, uh, a slight outline of what looks like a warship. Yeah, he looks like a warship, all right. Um, this will be interesting. I'm going to go and periscope and slow right down because I think this guy is going to go straight across me. Yep, and I'm behind him now. I'm going to flank to get past him just in case he's coming back. Don't think he is. Let's surface. Yep, we're fine. Now then, we've got this guy up here who. Well, that was stupid, but um, if he was going to fire at me, he would have by now, I think. How far away is he? Yeah, he's not far away, so I should be able to see him. Over here somewhere. Yep, there he is. He doesn't look that small. He doesn't look that big either. So, we're going to adjust course. If it will give me the tool. And intercept around about there. I don't want to be going flank speed. I go standard speed. I will man the AA gun and shoot for the water line. But uh, he doesn't have the uh, permission to... Oh, shit. He has a gun. Fire at will. Uh, yeah, this guy has a gun. Whoa, that's a touch close. Whoa. And that guy knows how to shoot. Let's turn and flank. And uh, yeah, this guy really knows how to shoot. This guy's getting close. Start hitting him, damn you. That's better. Something blew up there. That missed. Yeah, I'm going to try and uh, turn the ship away from where he's shooting. This guy's a good shot. We may end up with a hole in our submarine. Because this guy is getting very, very close. Let's go ahead and turn to the left now. Oh, that's going to be close. Come on, man. Take him out. Oh. Did that hit us? Oh, yep, yeah, we've been hit. Damaged the bulkhead. But it was repaired straight away, so... I'm going to go to battle stations, actually. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah. Use that. So you can fire faster. That'd be a good idea. And get the damage... You know, 
patrol team or whatever it's called and yeah let's straighten up here give him the smallest uh, the smallest silhouette to hit and that was very close would you pit him please wow that's really firing fast yeah that's really fast firing but this guy can't shoot worth shit so I'm gonna take over and how far away is he I don't even know uh, let's say 2000 we'll give it a go nope further than that two and a half thousand or two and a two, uh, two and two three quarters whatever no let's aim it better shall we nope that's close he's just over three thousand then let's go about there but he's not shooting at me anymore which is interesting that hit him there we go now lay into him at this range he's on fire so yeah, we're going to take the ship back with a hole in it but um, at least it's not uh, in several pieces on the bottom of the sea here we go this guy is over he is done and what is he he actually looks not too shabby yeah he's got a forward deck gun there that's what was shooting at me and did actually hit me but yeah he's going down from the back we've got some good shots in there so yeah down he goes I think he's just gonna keel over isn't he nah he's going to go down fair enough let's uh, let's get back to course then and uh, switch down from flank speed we're wasting fuel wasting fuel lads repair uh, return to course and down he goes blub 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 down to Davy Jones locker with you goodbye right then so we're off the Honshu coast and we're going to try and make a straight dash to Midway in fact I'm going to adjust that course because we can go no we're not coming back again we are going to go sort of straighter than that and I'll take out that one and that one and that one and that one in fact we don't even need that one let's just go and try and get the hell out of here as quickly as possible we have no torpedoes we've got plenty of, uh, of ammunition for the other gun but um, if we run across a, a warship then that's not going to help us so yeah I will uh, see you soon okay so um, from about here to about here I've been going flank speed and uh, because I've been getting the uh, the slowdown bug uh, at high time compression and I just couldn't be bothered but I still have like 50% or nearly 60% of my fuel left so actually I'm not even going to bother going to midway and um, get rid of that I'm going to reset a new course straight to uh, Pearl Harbor and I reckon I can make it all the way out at flank speed yeah uh, because we have these uh, these engine specialists on board that seem to be able to uh, make our fuel go stupidly long amounts of uh, amounts of distance so um, yeah I'm just gonna go straight to Pearl Harbor rather than bothering about midway so um, yeah I'll update you when we get there okay so we are very nearly at Pearl Harbor we have 20, uh, 42 percent of our fuel left and I have literally been going flank speed from there and I've used what's that from 59 to 42 so that's what 19 or something something like that round about that to uh, to get like halfway across the Pacific so these uh, fuel guys or engine guys in our uh, in our engine room are doing the business they are really kicking some serious butt and uh, that's fantastic so um, as we're right next to uh, Pearl Harbor now in fact I'm going to get into range where we can end the patrol and then we're going to review what we sank because I made a mistake in one of the uh, one of the ships that we sank and it wasn't what I thought it was and um, I've been pleasantly surprised okay right we're here so postpone now then we're going to look at the sinking list we got first a fishing boat for 200 tons, a Mitsuki destroyer for 1,772 tons, 
a Mini Kelsey destroyer for 1,215 tons. And then, what I thought was a, uh, a Mayo or something heavy cruiser was actually a Takao heavy cruiser worth nearly 16,000 tons. So that was worth almost twice what I thought it was. So that's fantastic. And then the uh, Furutaka heavy cruiser was what I thought it was. So that's 7.1 thousand tons. Then we got a, uh, a modern, large modern composite freighter on the way back. Well, actually, no, we torpedoed that one. That was 7,000 tons as well. And on the way back, we got this medium old split freighter. was the one that shot at us. And uh, we took out. So, yeah, this is looking to be actually, considering how few ships we sank, actually to be a very successful patrol. And we did, in fact, complete both of our objectives. So, now that we are here, we're going to end patrol. And yes, I want to dock. Let's see. We completed, deployed to Honshu, and we did engage and destroy enemy merchant shipping. Not many of it. We destroyed more warships, because we destroyed three merchant ships and four warships for a grand total of 38,838 uh, tons. Lots of eights in there. So we're going to return to base. Oh, and we got a, another Silver Star on the Sith War Patrol, apparently, which I think is right, maybe, now, perhaps. Not sure, but I think it is. Anyway, well, yeah, we got a, sil uh, a, si a second Silver Star. We've got one here, this is the new one, and we got one back here as well in, uh, in April when we were on board the Sea Lion. So that's good. So we're going to go in and uh, see a new cutscene, apparently. Or not? No? No cutscene? No, we're just in Pearl Harbor. Okay. So let's have a look at the scoreboard as it stands. We have 326,352 tons. And the next has 22,000. We're a long way ahead. In fact, we're 304,000 and 200 ahead. That is a lot. We are kicking some serious behind. And uh, here's our little box. Still looks the same because we've only got three different kinds of medals. I want to get the other two kinds of medals. I think they're lesser medals, but I still want them because you know, it makes this box look more filled out. My tea is still, or coffee or whatever the hell it's supposed to be, that's black. I don't know anything we drink that's black, but whatever. Not that's hot anyway. So, um, yeah. In here we have the 5th War Patrol. Even though it said it was the 6th, but whatever. Here is all our challenge for that one. That's good. So we've had 2, 3, and was this Drum? I think this was the USS Drum as well, Patrol 4. And Patrol 5, of course, was the Drum as well. So that's good. I'm going to see if we've got any more specialists on here. Is he a new specialist? Possibly. Roger V. English. I wonder if the V stands for very. Anyway, um, yeah, he's not a very good watchman, to be honest, but uh, I can't replace him, so he'll have to stay there. Ah, our AA gun guy has actually improved a bit. He's more efficient now. Well, that's good. And, nope, it doesn't let us any more, any more blokies. Uh, I can give medals. Oh, I can give purple heart to someone. Who should I give a purple heart? I can give it to, well, actually almost anyone, I think. Um, I could give it to my deck gunner, he's definitely pulled his weight, and that gun thing there really saved my ass against that other guy. Well, I didn't really save it, but you know, it, it stopped us getting damaged too much. So yeah, I'm going to give the purple heart to him. There we go, he's got three medals now. And now I've got bronze stars to give out. Let's give the bronze stars to... Uh, the commanding officer's been good this time, so I'll give it to him. Yep, yeah, give it to him. A uh, bronze star to... The forward torpedo room guys, in fact, that guy and that guy can have it. And silver stars. Silver stars will go to... Hmm, let's give it to one to the propulsion guy there, who's got the speciality. And I could give it to the other propulsion guy. Or I could give it to guys in the control room. Hmm. Actually, well, it's sonar guy. Let's give it to that sonar guy. He did all right. Okay, so, um, have we got anything new here? Nope, nothing new there. No new sensors. No new, no new torpedoes. Okay, so we've got like nearly 10,000 renown and nothing to spend it on. Uh, and we've probably got some more new good guys here, but I'm going to have a quick look through the list. Uh, he's got 72 mechanical, so he's actually pretty good. Uh, but other than that, no. 
mechanical is he better than this guy no he's not really because he hasn't got electrical and guns and watchmen so no we pretty much got the best crew we can get so um, yeah that was a very successful patrol let's go back to here and uh, yeah 326,352 tons of shipping sunk that's uh, fantastic so yeah that was the the second patrol of the USS drum I hope you enjoyed it come back next time and um, we'll try to get even less holes in our ship this time <laughs>